There are times in life that we share with our family and with our children, our loved ones, that it's possible to learn from a very unconventional source. Rasim Chabanami Pshischa explains that such is a lesson to be found in Parshas Mishpatim. For the very first time, the Torah introduces us to an individual who steals, and the law regarding that individual and how much that individual has to repay. Rav Simcha Banimi Pshischa explains that, believe it or not, there is something that we can learn from a Ghana, from one who steals, a robber, uh, and apply it to our lives as Jews and our relationship with God, mitzvahs, and Torah. And the first is, is that a Ghana is a Ghana, someone who steals, is a person who is not lazy. That person is willing to go in the rain or in the snow, in the middle of the night, any time that's inconvenient for everyone else, he is ready to be there because he wants to accomplish his task. That's the first lesson we learn from the Ganav. The second lesson we learn from the Ganav is that he's not satisfied until he's successful. If he fails the first time, he'll try again. How many times do we find that there are people who are in prison who have a history of stealing beforehand, and yet they arrive back in prison because of the fact that they have prior arrests for the very same thing? It's part of them. They've got the desire to do it once again. And the third is that a Ganav is not satisfied with a little. A Ganav wants a major accomplishment. And from all three of these, says Rav Simcha Banim Pshischa, we can learn and apply to our relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. There are times when we become lazy, and we figure, ah, you know, because it's rain or snowing outside, or because it's uh, later at night, maybe we don't need to take the time to either go to shul for minyan, or need to take the time to go out and catch a shear, or even to spend time learning Torah. It's too late at night, I'm too tired, I don't have the energy to be able to open a safe or open a book, or read something, which, or learn something, which will be helpful for our Talmud Torah. And yet there is also a part of ourselves in which we become too satisfied with not being successful. So we want to involve ourselves in Torah learning, we want to involve ourselves in Chesed, well, look, I'll give it my best shot. But if I can't, then that's it. At least I tried. It's so interesting that we're able to give up so easily when it comes to that kind of a thing. But when it comes to something else, to the pursuit of our financial stability, or even our financial benefit above and beyond what we need to live, that we're never satisfied until we have enough. And finally, learning from the Ghana when it comes to not being satisfied with a little, there are some times when we do accomplish and there are some times when we do feel good about doing a given mitzvah, or learning, or attending a minyan, and we say to ourselves, okay, I'm Yotze, I did enough. A Ganav is not satisfied with a little. A Ganav needs to make sure that they have enough in order to satisfy them, that they have more and more. And so too, when it comes to our connection to God, our connection to Torah and mitzvahs, we should strive to never be satisfied with just a little, and just being Yotze, just fulfilling our obligation, but we can, should continue to strive more to be able to grow in our relationship with God and our relationship with Torah and mitzvot on a regular basis. Thank you for listening, and may we be zoche, may we merit, to learn from even the negative characters in our lives and apply it in a positive sense, like we do with the Gamov. Have a good Shabbos.